Tip number 17, relational data is still very relevant. Let's look at this very simple cash register slip from your favorite auto parts store. First, we can isolate some information uh, regarding the transaction or the receipt here, like the date uh, and time where I did the transaction a little while ago, uh, how did I pay, um, and what type of uh, credit card I use, and of course, a transaction ID as well. Then I bought some stuff, which are the line items uh, of this transaction. And you see the washer fluid, some towels to clean my car. And um, I got kind of two kinds of discounts. Here I got um, a buy one, get one at 50% off. And I used to be a team member. Um, so I got my special employee discount as well. And finally, you also see some information about the store. Okay, so here is the Advanced Auto Parts store in uh, Chapel Hill. You see the address on Fordham Boulevard and the phone number, as well as an internal identifier, which is a store number 08459. So what is it relevant for? Because all this data can be actually combined together, not in isolation, but creating relation in between. So the goal of that is to be able to answer business questions. So it answers, if so if you're an advanced auto parts executive, uh, this structure will make it really easy to answer questions like how much money did our store in Chapel Hill do, but also how much money uh, did all our stores in the Chapel Hill vicinity did, how do they compare? How much washer fluid did we sell? Do we need to provision more? Um, and as we are provisioning more, do we need to resupply all our stores around it? Okay, so this is where having structured data in a relational database is going to be super helpful for your business. Thank you for watching this show today. My name is Jean-Georges Perrin. I often go by JGP. I build innovative data platforms at PayPal I am the president and co-founder of ADA-UG, the Artificial Intelligence Data and Analytics Users Group. I am also one of the few uh, lifetime IBM champions. I wrote the highly rated second edition of Apache Spark in Action, published by Manning Publication. Please follow me on Twitter and YouTube at JG Perry. You can also read more about my opinions, my experiences, and all the things my editors didn't want to put in the book or my articles in my blog at jgp.ai. Thank you. Bye for now.